So welcome to the Something Po Anglitsky channel. Today we're starting a brand new series called Something Po Anglitsky Reacts. And we're going to be looking at <laughs> these guys today. We're going to be looking at how they speak English and see if we can find any mistakes. And most importantly, see if we can learn something from them. So if you like this, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you like and make sure that you follow me on Instagram as well. I'm Something Po Anglitsky. So let's get started. Congratulations with second place. Thank you. So right off the bat, we have the first problem, which is thank you. Uh, this is a typical problem with people, who, especially people who speak German. The correct way to pronounce this is thank you. So you need to have a TH. And the best way to do this is actually kind of silly. <laughs> but I always tell people to, first of all, stick your tongue out, then lightly bite it. Don't bite it too hard. We don't want accidents here, right? And then roll your tongue. And you're going to go th. Now you're going to do that. You know, you're going to practice it like this. And the, until you have that motion. And then you're going to do it inside of your mouth. And you're going to naturally do th. Th. So just practice. And eventually you'll get the thank yous. And you'll sound much better than thank you. I am very happy. It's the Second thing is the. Uh, very happy. Not very happy, but very happy. So make sure that you be careful with that. V. A lot of people make the mistake of saying w. I, I, don't, I don't know why. Maybe it's a, a thing with the language, but make sure that v is v. Very. Today, very good prepared uh, trial. Yeah, so <laughs> today, very good prepared trial. I think what he meant to say is that either everything was well prepared or that he was well prepared but let's let's listen again because i'm not sure now prepared, uh, trial very good prepared yeah so he again he uses very good prepared which instead he should be using very well prepared so remember this thing with uh, how you do something and how something is so this is good and we play well understand so make sure that you be careful with those uh, trial It's good weather. Good weather. Uh, that's the word weather. So the weather outside is nice. So again, be careful. Weather, not weather. Weather. Good waxing, aber uh, small problem. Good waxing, aber. Aber, I imagine that it's some German word because that's definitely not something that I recognize from the English language. Uh, good waxing. I am guessing that he's talking about his skis. I have no idea. If you know, please leave it in the comments. I'm not a ski expert. I've never been skiing. Um, maybe one day. Um, what I can definitely tell from this uh, speaker, Stanislav here, is that he is definitely a level A1, really a beginner, and probably somebody that's never tried to learn the language. Um, one good indication is the fact that he lacks, like, even the ability to form simple sentences. So that's that's a huge indicator. He also says the word probleme, which, again, I don't know if it's German, but it should be problem. Problem. Let's continue to listen. Uh, 10 kilometers shushen. Uh, 10 kilometers shushen. I don't know if shushen is German again. Leave it in the comments. But when you are describing something, so the classic example is age. If you have a boy and the boy is 10 years old, you are saying how old he, he is. Uh, but if you want to describe him by his age, that is a 10-year-old boy. 10-year-old boy, he is 10 years old. Remember that. It's a typical mistake here. Dort ist Pulverschnee, ist kalt Schnee, meine Ski. If, if you know what he's saying, please, please tell me. I have no idea. I imagine this is a broken German. Very slowly, slowly. He said something in Czech that I understood. Pomali, or Slovak as well. Slowly. Uh, again, I have no idea what he's talking about, about going slow, going slowly. There's not enough context for me to comment. Very slowly. Dort ist anders 50 meters. Down, uh, downhill and twi uh, two kilometers and keine chance. I'm sure. Chance? Keine, I guess kind of small chance. He was trying to say that he had a small chance, but 
Again, most of that was German, not English. 20 seconds. 20 second. Second, again, not an English word. Uh, tw- I guess he was trying to say 20 seconds. Seconds. Spätig. <laughs> uh, what was your tactic? Ah, so actually, this is a mistake by the interviewer, not by him, actually. But probably this will set him up to make a mistake as well. I guess what she was trying to ask is, what was your strategy? Not your tactic. Tactic would be a word that we would use mostly maybe in war, um, but not for this. I think here she was referring to strategy. What was your strategy to win? Uh, tactic is uh, good form nach Berg. I guess he was trying to say to have good form, which is important in skiing. Uh, not sure what was the other part there. Nach good wax tactic, drei drei Personen nach Berg und dann helfen. There he's showing the middle finger to us. <laughs> I, guess, I guess we know how he feels. Cidat, I have no idea. It, it sounds Czech. The, they were changing the, the position yeah. for uh, help to together. Yeah. They were changing the position for help together. So our friend there helping his English is definitely a lot better. You can tell that he's had some some English education. I'm, I'm guessing that he's around a level A2. Um, but I didn't quite understand what he was trying to say there. Good, good race, uh, good uh, outfit. Feel, uh, uh, Again, he's not putting a complete sentence together. It was a good race. Um. Classic and double polling is always good, uh, good, good race. Thank you so much. Yeah, so I guess we learned a few things. Remember those lessons. Remember that pronunciation. Make sure that you take these tips and you improve your English. You can do well if you put a little effort. Thanks for watching and make sure that you subscribe, you share, and you like this video because if it gets a lot of likes... Maybe I'll make another one. Thank you for watching.